ハウアーユージェントルスプラウツメインスクリーンオン主様あぁ been a while, right? Um, I think I've been feeling a bit sick for the past week, which is why I didn't stream. Um, but all I gotta say about that, um, of course, I'm gonna make it up to, well, today is last week's, and then Wednesday. This is Thursday. Probably gonna try and stream on Friday. Or Saturday. I'm free Saturday now. Cause some people are having a Halloween party without me. No really, they're 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 in a northern state. Northern Northern Western state than I am. But still, I want candy. Um There we go. I don't know if my auto reset actually works. Wow, I got a bot within five seconds. All these people that have their, um, um, what am I thinking of? Their account's not protected, they haven't, like, been on Twitch in for fucking ever, and then, you know, bots take over their account, and then it's like, uh... Yeah, no, then they start spamming shit, and their account gets completely eliminated. Anyway... What was I gonna say? Yeah, sorry, been sick. Oh, crap. I don't have my, my thing on. I forgot my thing. <laughs> oh, of course, you're wrapped around that cord because... All cords and wires are possessed by, like, the, the spirits of snakes. So, like, you just put two cords next together and they'll be wrapped around each other and, like, the next time you see them... There we go. Got my fingers working again. Um... Anyway, I... I think I might actually try uh, streaming to um, um what's that place? Um, YouTube, like I mean, just seeing a lot of people that are like either. Like restreaming to uh, Twitch, or I think Kicks the other one, but I'm not gonna go over there because I think that's the one built off the back of like cryptocurrency, which like fuck you. And and YouTube, I don't know. YouTube just doesn't feel like a good streaming place. Like they don't seem like they're set up for streams. They're more set up to feed you videos. So there's that. But, you know, if people, well, I mean, it's a lot easier to edit because, you know, the file's right. I can't, well, now I'd have to download it because I like to cut out all the irrelevant stuff. And is it just me or did at some point YouTube have like a simple video editor where you could take a video you had uploaded and like mash it to the front or the end of the... The video you had, or like, cut bits of video out, uh, or something. I kind of remember they had like a simple video editor, but I don't see it there, which is uh, no surprise to me because, you know, YouTube constantly, you Google, 
constantly gives you things and then takes them away and then puts them behind a paywall. Anyway, let's get into the monster ranching. I see there's a recording going. Let me see if the recording is going any better. Let me turn on my backlight. Let me see how this thing's rolling. Uh, switch to 16 by 9. Switch to 16 by 9. That's not 16 by 9. Alright, I got the additional items I didn't get before. Just move that back there. Oh yeah, it's running like... running like bad. What was I doing before? I think I was reading... yeah, I was on letters. Well, I guess uh, my inventory is full. I got all that extra... what did I get? Alright, the charred snake. That's from Monster Ranch for one. Bango, that's from Monster Ranch for one. That's new. Get rid of, yeah, I can just get rid of this. Here, come eat these flowers. Hey, those flowers were healthy. What do you mean, weight increased? Does that mean you have, like, the new stuff in? No. The charged snake and stuff I, is, I guess, special. Tournament today. All right, this is a weird chip. I think I'm going to do this one. Okay, 
drill sleep uh battle. Chili pepper. So I use the item. Was that the um the thing that I just got in the last tournament? Cheezer, help us out here. I channel the power of Cheezer. get to uh we get to beat up on a robot are they like air dropping at me which is a dot uh whatever the robot's name is Go. 
got more speed than me. More power. I have to win this fight. Unless it gets guts and comes back up like a dirty cheater. Mach one just could win. Avenger chip. Oh wow, that bouquet increases it by a lot. Right, that's up to D rank. 
think I want to get speed up to D rank. How we doing? Slim, I need weight to feel back out. tournaments we got going on. Do we really want to go to B rank yet? Alright, I won that one. Pretty sure. I beat her and we got the mochi chip. Yeah. The winter version, though. want to go to this one. It's just money. So... You know what? Sure, why not? Or do I want to do a class B battle? the class C battle. So sleep, drill, sleep, fight. Let me just get that defense up a little bit. I guess that thing I got just, like, reduces the amount of anger that goes up. Yeah, put back up the 
F. Not where I wanted to go, I wanted to go the other way. One of these. And work on speed. Talk. Rest. And then we ride into battle! to do. You know what you're doing, Cheezer? Another night battle. That's pretty cool. Oh, I should say I've been watching Ultraman Blazer again. It's, um, I at least have the critique that every time Henri is in the uh, Earth Garden seat, that, um, that's when Earth Garden fails. But when a guy is in the seat, that's when, you know, it does the best. So it's kind of rubbing me the wrong way, because she's like the, uh, karate expert. Which was why they put her in the seat to begin with. But we're only up to episode, I think, six, five or six.
go. Those feet don't look right. Machine. Earth power and bashful. Oh no, we're fighting Google. Interesting to see how many of these kaiju are all like based on like a the the Godzilla posture, the Tyrannosaurus Godzilla posture. what you get for touching me. Cosmo! Let's burn that Cosmo. Moreno Cosmo! Was it Moeru Cosmo? Um... Moeru Watashi no Cosmo? I forget, I'll have to watch more Saint Seiya. Ooh, it glows. I did you know? Alright, it's got a lot of life, it's got a lot of power, and a lot of defense. I need to do some chip damage and avoid it. <laughs> um, game? Don't do this to me, game. That horn rush, it just looks cool. That's how you do that. Damn, I taught it too well.
hate it when they do that. <laughs> Let's see, who are we fighting next, Bashful? <laughs> I still love this thing. It got a little scarf around its neck. Probably the... I'd like the gratuitous, uh... The neckline where the, uh... This part connects to that part. Got a lot of speed, and it is power boost. Oh my god, that third one. Oh, damn! One hit wonder. You can see the eyes are brown here, but when Tamora leans in to talk to, uh, uh, Hanezo, it, it looks kind of more pink, uh, pinkish purple. Everybody has two losses, meaning I cannot lose. I'm guaranteed to win, even if I lose. But we're not gonna lose, are we? Still in base. What you get for touching me? Wait, two, I got two way horn attacks. I had. I got the long one and then I got the short one. How many of those costumes are like repurposed Godzilla costumes? I don't know what happens to old costumes when they're done with them. Five wins, no losses. Nice, even though that's not one of the skills I'm working on. It's good to have that up, and life is always good. And now we are B rank! It definitely is. I will we'll be able to advance with just the same techniques we've gotten used to. What? Hit once and then avoid, 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 avoid. Run down the clock, run down the clock, run down the clock. Oh, I think that's like a big winning strategy, even at S rank. Cross me on this. I've played the other games before and that's how I win every time. With like a healthy dose of save stating. It seems that the uh, the percentages here that we see are actually kind of a 
accurate. Like, it kind of seemed like the other game, even if you had like a 80% chance, you kept missing. It actually seems the percentages are somewhat accurate. Alright, what's the stats looking like? Uh, okay, I need to uh, raise the fear and raise the weight. Need fear and weight. Any of this. This farm seems tough, but I like this before we got here. Nah. The proof thinks you do some future depends on me. A big responsibility. It'll take a lot of doing, but I hope you'll stick with it. Look, well, we've got a letter that we already read. And of course, our mandatory everything in the shop is like. 20% off. How much did that change anything? Nothing. Bye, that's for... I can put the fear of... A black coffee! That, that induces fear in everybody. hates black coffee. Yeah, I don't like that the weight decreased. There we go. Back up to even. I need to increase the weight again. I'll just rest then. I was abducted by awful aliens and whisked away to some far- Isn't it an alien? Isn't it so an alien? Are you an alien? Don't you claim to be an alien, Kanazo? Forced to fight during their invasions over and over again. What? Wait, this is just like, this is just Ultraman, or, or was it Vol Voltron when the uh, I forget what their name, or Lotor and all them, but the Robies. Thank you. 
All right, I wants to join the tournament. Still need that weight up, right? Yeah. I think this raises weight. I don't need to lose weight. Give it some eye candy. Get it? I can oh, never mind. I'll give it I'll just keep giving it the eye candy for now. The pendants increase, but I can increase the fear. Alright, what's the next tournament? Furious Cup. Interesting. Well, we can see what the competition's like in this, even though we're probably gonna lose. That's why Cheezer has our back. Let me just see what button it is to, uh, to activate Cheezer. F6. F6 activates Cheezer. gonna be a serious cup. For the branch! Rodney, Mecha Crab, and October. Goza Neronga, Baltan Recubus, and just a straight Nova. Pretty cool monster design. Alright, we need to be into the 4000s to, to even compete. Have one at 5000, three at 4000. And we're gonna lose this. I'm gonna do my best though. Running down the clock! Winning by a technicality! Oh, 
October 1. What am I looking at here? A pain train? It's a blue lobster. That defense, like, ouch. It is equally power and int base, but it says that its int is lower. October to lose one. I said I need you to lose one. Yeah, I don't know why they land on the ground like that. Like, are they airlifting them? Are they dropping them out of an airplane? It is definitely int base. I'm gonna be doing any good damage here. Oh look, uh, uh, ooh, that's the face. A t tiny little rat totally like hit 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 one of the keys. Uh, oh, couldn't do anything about it. Well, thanks for dropping by. I'm probably going to be here for another 30 minutes. It stays stable in the air. I mean, some of the ones that can fly, I guess, would fly in, but I don't think mine can fly. All right, my target now is 4,000 for a lot of the categories, all of the categories. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not going to go there. I mean, if this was Voltron, you could say that they start out like tiny. And then when they're throwing them out of an airplane, they like shoot a macro beam on them. And then they grow in the air and then land. But uh, but we can clearly see that's not what's going on here because we got our giant monster here.
see some crunchiness, and I think that's just, uh, probably Leap Motion. Leap Motion actually does some... takes up some CPU for sometimes for some reason. Alright, Aaron Trees. Lower speed. I don't really want things at lower speed. Speed's kind of important. Alright, skill is almost up there. Ground pr pressure effects. Um. Yeah, that reminds me. I was watching Game Center CX the other day, and he was playing like a Valkyrie's adventure, and like one of the uh, uh, one of the powers you can get, you can turn you can turn giant, and that's the the stomp ability. He defeated the um, crab lobster boss just doing that. That lowers life. That lowers int. Raises defense and power, lowers int. We don't... We're not... We don't like int anymore. Find me a fossil. It looks like you, but more dead. You can see Kanezo there for a relative size. Oh, I actually got a fossil! <laughs> you think all kaiju were born on this island? Nobody really knows where they came from. It's a mystery, even today. I think in Ultraman there are some kaiju that come from space. Some that actually, like, Gedos lives in the ocean, and it's like, um... Oh, we're mistreating the ocean, and Gettos is attacking. Me got the mochi? That looks interesting. <laughs> you could do and could to prevent herself from being injured or easily doing damage to the corpse central compound. Her own dome room as well, for both her size and for being able to take her. Wait in steps. That's one thing that I like usually critique in, in in shows with like massive things. It's like is like the ground shaking. Like, like I don't, I don't. I've been around elephants like back when I was a kid, and they don't shake the ground when they're moving around, but. Like, you'll have some heavy characters and suddenly they're shaking the ground and I'm like... I don't think they'd do that. So that's one thing I critique is like, everybody wants to try and get all scientific. I'm like, I, I think that thing how that's happening is not scientific, but I'm not a scientist. What does this do? Motivate. That should be in the shop then, shouldn't it? Oh, on the road. And even though the, kai the Kaiju Godzilla and Gamera movies are serious, they're just part of a big comedy movie. That's the reality that only we see via the fourth wall. I think they actually have a few comedy shows like that. 
I don't think he's talking to you. No, it's not here. Maybe I have to use it and it shows up as an item. Not what I wanted to press. Still not... Alright. Have some more candy. Math, computer science, engineering, all that STEM stuff. When, when things, like, use actual physics. So I know, like, on big things, like, there would be some breakage of asphalt, but... Like, how big does the thing have to be before it, like actually breaks the asphalt and how much does it mostly it's how much does it have to weigh that totally wasn't a cut off Godzilla roar because I think Toho actually trademarked the Godzilla roar. Both of Toho's Godzilla and Gamma are insisting Kaiju footsteps are nuclear stomps going off. I think for that for the same reason. The sound effects in a comic book. Yeah, it's uh, very much... It's like the, the stomping of the Tyrannosaurus in the uh, in Jurassic Park. You actually want to feel the weight of the monsters. It's not just some guy in a suit. Oh, you can only shoot rocks? I can shoot laser beams! Fiery laser beams! Got a new technique! Oh, it's a long range one, too! 
Got A damage though. Cost 40, but it might be worth it. Come back soon. I gonna do? See, I hate it when it's like... Like, now you need to, like, do, you need to fight off your territory, but, um... They're, like, super, uh... Fatigued. Is there a fatigue item? Like, super fatigue? And that's important. We have nothing IRL. Let's check it against. That's what we've gone by. What do you mean nobody's working on a growth and shrink ray? I've been lied to my entire life. Okay, that gives me defense. That gives me power. Skill and power. Twitch thing. Alright. Lots of power. Wow. 4,000? Oh, I got the super long technique. I want to try it out. I want to try it out. I want to try it out. It didn't work. Damn it. Got it. Get off my property. And then my power and skill go up, which is exactly what I want. And we got another letter. And I got honey jelly on. Let's 
still too slim. You gotta put your name on things, kid, if you wanna battle me. Aaron, show your eyeball candy. I see. Still even, still slim. All right, let me buy some candy. the mochi. I guess just a day has to pass. Like, it doesn't automatically enter the shop the day, um... The day you find it, it's the next day. It's not a deflection under pressure. And, and we build our sidewalks with it. Fear increase. Oh no, it's raining. And it's spring. Still slim. I like this music. I need your weight to go up a lot. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll do it. Just stick that on there for like no reason. I got three of them. Yeah, that's another thing is like, like bare earth. I did. I put honey on it. Honey's a spice, right? I I know it's a bee spit. Weight's normal. Style's back to easy. Now I can put the fear in them with this. And then they're back to being slim. Damn it! Mm -hmm. 
Oh, those really look good. We got any tournaments we can, uh... No. Performance of minor adjustment up to plus minus 3% of speed defense if I think both at the same time and not visibly. The adjustment's hidden. Not a big deal for training, but has a slightly more noticeable effect in battles. Yeah, 3% could mean a lot. I take it slim means negative 3% off defense, but a plus 3% to speed. And vice versa if they're overweight. I know in, um... What's the game I'm thinking of? It's the game I'm thinking of. Ray Gigant. That the weight of your characters affects their stats as well. Which, as much as I'm like, yeah, I like kind of stuff like that, you know, it's cool. It's just not very realistic where human beings are concerned. Is there any... wait... Strong A... and then it's another official... Here you kick his ass. That looks like a Dada chip. Go ahead and get on the war. Slim is halfway point between normal and skinny. So does Slim give like the plus 3%, minus 3%, and then skinny is a plus minus 5? Lump is a max heavy form, I think. Halfway point is fat, but can't remember. Just slightly a bit much. I can create plus five speed, negative five defense. And I take it normal is just plus minus zero. Form indicator is actually a range of numbers. Of course, all of them hidden, and of course, all of them important. I, I, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, though, Tupa. I know that feeling when you want to, like, just, uh, you know something, you want to share it so bad, and then you're like, wait a minute. Am I- am I sharing too much? Curse you, game, for having hidden things? I don't think I want to dot it. Definitely... I don't know what that chip is. I'm 
Definitely need to do this one though. Let me go back from where I was. Maybe I'll just get the chip. Having some chips around would be nice. I could probably sub data it. Maybe. Maybe. So. I'm actually doing air and shrink. interested in it it was more like I got what you were saying so what you're saying is that for some monsters it can be beneficial to like go one way or another on the scale Applies to what what the the subject matter of the game's about. I mean, especially when we're dropping kaiju from the air. Like, why are they falling in like for for battle? get my speed back up later. I say, and I'm probably never getting the speed back up when I need the speed up. Int, I'm just gonna let Int go. Completely. Form, also more beneficial for fatigue and stress in tournaments as well. It's gonna be the eye, the less fatigue they get from tournaments. And there they are, the more stress is relieved from tournaments. Science of Mega Beast Halo drops. Yeah, like. Like, why are they falling into, like, the battles? Where are they falling from? Are they. Well, they're not jumping off of something because we don't see what's, like, a, a ledge they're dropping off from. So, are they being airlifted in there? Are they row beasting? the row beast in this game wouldn't make sense. Friend. Yay, new technique! Probably won't exactly use it until I need to, like, uh, burn, burn guts. so good with mathematics, but science I can usually get. You're getting more egg. Well, no way. You're getting more meat. And then... I need the tea down. Bestium pepper. There we go.
Warm, spicy, and numbing. Let's not even talk about how much these, these monsters eat. It's time for the birthday song! There's actually, I think, like a second phase phrase in one of the other games. I yeah, I, I love it too. Going into year three. Can't they learn a new trait? Choose wisely. That's right, the cookie shop. You try giving your horns a good polish. So pointy, so sparkly. I saw Voltron 3 on TV was more than 35 years ago, but it's the Ben. It's been 35 since Voltron 3, because I watched the original Voltron back 40 some odd years ago. Well, it's a dumb audience trick like a scary movie where no one sees the jump scare until it comes into view of the camera, even though from the character's perspective, they definitely would have seen the jump scare way in advance. Something. Happy Thun Day, Doc Toho, Silly, Zilly, Born Day, Bean Toes. Beans! Low single digits. I saw it probably around 10. Maybe it was younger than 10. Been so long ago and I was so young. My memory is... Up to a certain point... Like, the date was not important to me. So when people are like, what's the first memory you ever have? It's like, I don't know. I don't know how young I was when I formed any of these memories back in the day. I kind of want to watch Go Lion, which is the original Voltron. Okay. What tournament were we going for? That one. So... Rest? No. I'm gonna shove something at him, maybe do a, a, a light drill, and then... Let me, what's a fatigue reducer? Well, it doesn't matter. They're gonna rest anyways. I think I need speed. it up. So I think I want to say that people said like the whole um, I'm 
going to do this tournament and then I'm going to call it a video. And when we get back to the, the winding down screen, I'll look it up. See how people can sleep when it's warm. I know I'm gonna drop fame on this, but I want that chip. Yes, I'm saving a cheeser spot. Even though we're probably just gonna sweep it since we're B rank. You sleep forever. This one? No. This one. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I want to try and land that one though. I'll wait until I get back up to over 50. Or do it now! There we go. Forward flip tail smash. Yeah, I can't, after watching Macross, I can't like Robotech anymore. I know some people are like, I love Robotech! Even though I watch Macross, it's my favorite, I'm like, the way they just hacked it together. And the way people want to take things from Robotech and say they're canon in the Macross universe, I'm like, no, no. In the Macross universe, the Zentradi still keep- a lot of Zentradi still keep their size. Just go watch Macross 7. There's actually, like, parts of Macross 7 where Mylene actually un- like, macro sizes back- back up there. There's like a- might be one of the specials. There's, um, Macross Frontier that actually shows the whole other colony of the Zentradi that haven't- Myclonized. That actually comes up in like episode 12. And like, it's most speed, isn't it? It's across. Uh, Southern Cross, and then Most Speeder, which was the Invid stuff. I honestly haven't really watched the Invid stuff. Mike Macross Frontier has that going on with uh, Clan Clan, because Clan Clan appeals to the end, the two ends of the otaku spectrum. Which is also is really an unfortunate character. What they did with the character and what they canonically introduced, which like fr Macross Frontier killed my love of Macross. So it's just Macross Macross Seven for me. And Macross Frontier. 
atmosphere gets into the hole. We're fighting giant insects and like, I'm tired of giant insects. Even though I know by the end, every flake, we fight the giant insects off the same way we fight everything else off. With music and love. how you do it, right? Here's another one for good measure. Yeah, that's the that's the Robotech timeline. And then there's, I forget what it's called, Robotech Sentinels? They actually keep going with the Robotech, um, storyline. Which, it just gets really silly. Yeah, it's like, we need more episodes. Because, uh, at that time in America, you had to have a certain number of episodes for syndication. Nice defense backup. I earned some praise. I'm always gonna praise my monster, why not? Even if it messes with my training. Like, why would you not praise? Like, like if you had a dog that won a dog tournament, aren't you going to say who's a good dog? Or are you just going to say no? A comfy pillow! Nice, I could use that. What, is, what does Comfy Pillow do? It's another fatigue reducer. I hopefully it reduces a lot more fatigue than those mangoes. series of RPGs of Palladium franchise and handled from Harmony Gold for 20 years. Got it right. They stuck to the source material and context while adapting it just enough to be palatable to local gamers and audiences. Alright, saving it here. Continues to be in the tunnel of another strangeness. I don't remember that one. Switch to powering down. That did nothing. All right, let's see here. Mm -hmm. 
Jakku Kyujuo Go Lion. A hundred kings go lion. Fifty two episodes long. Wow, the story for uh for Go Lion is uh is vastly different. Uh Go Lion looks like to be more is just Go Lion. It, there is no Voltron 1, 2, 3. It's it is it's a saw it's just a self-contained anime in itself. For the U.S. series, once again, they took three, three different series like Robotech and crammed them into one. Lion Force Voltron is, um... Uh, Beast King Go Lion. Uh, Voltron, Vehicle Voltron on Armored Fleet, Dairuger, uh, 15. Different anime. And Gladiator Voltron based on Lightspeed Electroid Alabagos. But later abandoned due to the access, access of Lion Force Voltron. No, no, I I heard the same thing um, when I was when I was younger. I too heard like, oh no, see there was like a a vehicle Voltron and uh, and all these other Voltrons originally in Japan, and it's like apparently that's the um, that's once again the American Voltron. I honestly don't remember the vehicle side, though. I just remember the the Voltron side. Let me see. Armored Fleet Dairuger 15. Let me open up another window. If my cross live action movie could have as much love. live action movie space battle yamato that i thought was really really well done came out in 2010 ah, i barely remember that one i watched uh was trying to watch the new one to 2099 is that it well th oh, thanks i'm just a tiny little sprout maybe possibly Kiko Kantai Dairugu or Dai Dairuger 15. Um, I'm I'm getting it confused with the uh, Captain Harlock movie, which wasn't exactly live action, but it was 3D. Okay, so Dairuger, um. I see how they combined them because the people in uh, Dairuger are also purple skinned. I just love whole how old anime was like. The enemy is kind of us, but their skin color is like blue and green and purple. 
inevitably one of them will, will uh, go over to the, the, the uh, Earth side and may or may not die. Wow, Shiwazawa Kaneto was on that one too. Rip Shiwazawa Kaneto. You should have stayed in the hospital, really. I might actually have to watch that one, even it's gonna even though it's gonna be rough to watch because it's old anime. Cross will take is such in a licensing hell. I think it'll ever get a live action. Um, has it ever had a musical? I don't think it has. It might have had like the voice actor for Ben May do a few concerts because usually that's how they keep a series going is okay, now we have a musical. Like, Sailor Moon, after it ended, had, like, piles and piles of musicals, of new content. I liked it more for what they got right than what they didn't screw up that I thought they were going to mangle. Yeah. Most people criticize the Gits live-action movie for <sighs> casting Scarlett Johansson in the lead role, which, yeah, because Makoto Kusanagi is, uh, is Japanese, but at the same time she also uses, uh, different skins depending on the situation. Another thing in Licensing Hell is Microman. Tichon Kyojin Microman. Because back in the 70s when, speaking of things in Licensing Hell, Mego licensed Microman, called it Micronauts, and it was pretty much one-to-one -one, like what got released. Um... And then in Japan, uh, what happened in America was after, like, the Micronauts line was slightly dying, somehow Hasbro came along and wanted to, like, there was some leftover micro-change toys, and Hasbro was like, let's take those and make a new series out of it. We're gonna call them... And we're going to grab from this other Diclone series and a few other places, and we're going to call it Transformers. Megatron and Soundwave are both micro-changed from the Microman line. Don't know why uh, a kid who I think was eight would get a Luger, a transforming Luger, but that's... that was... that was that. And we were going to get the Microman toys and anime back in 99, but thanks to licensing hell, we didn't. And we only got a reproductions of, like, the former toys, and they were kind of garbage, and they weren't the Japanese release of the toys either. Um... And in 2001, 2000 to 2003, we got some of the Microman 2000 line released in like KB Toys, but it was like in the original Japanese packaging, and people honestly didn't know what the hell they were. There was nothing connect, no media connected to them. SBY. Oh, Space Battleship Yamato. Yeah, the dub, the dub, du the dub does lots of things. Beat Takeshi. 
of Takashi. I mean, the thing I kind of hate was that, like, I, th I think there might have been a live-action Gits in Japan, but there's lots of live-action things in Japan, and then we remake our own version of the movie, like Juon. We had to make our own version of it. Um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, White Noise? Or something. That was another one. And like some of the ones that I have heard of, like... I didn't know they were based on a Japanese movie, which is kind of bad. The Ring. I, we haven't done Tomie yet, which I guess is kind of good, because once you've seen one Tomie, you've kind Ain't even seen all Tomie. I know that Jun that's Junji Ito's, uh, one of his, uh, title works, but it's not great. I possibly it sounds yeah it sounds familiar uh and then there was one missed call which, uh, was another one. I was looking up this third one. That was the stacking robot. It honestly looks kind of silly, all things considered. It looks better in the anime, but the toy looks kind of... Okay, there's a, um... Pro-grade collector's edition. That makes it look a lot better. Anyway, I'm gonna call this a video, um... Thanks for everyone who showed up. Uh, nice to see you all here. Um... Gonna try and... Try for it's Wednesday, Thursday. Gonna try Friday for this week's Kaiju stream. Um, if not Friday, it's then Saturday, because uh, I don't have anything planned, or Sunday, but honestly, between being sick and drained, and playing way too much EDF, like, I didn't think I'd get into EDF like I did, um, come on, where's my hand? Take care, two paw. You have an awesome day, too. And Fenric, and anybody else who showed up that's lurking. I appreciate my lurkers. But, 
Yeah, I got way too much in the EDF. I'm sorry. I just play like, you know, I start playing and then like 10 missions later, it's five hours. Yeah, sure. You catch me on Discord. But let me just turn this backlight off. It's, it's kind of hot, even though it's like. How, how, how cold is it outside? I don't know. It's coldish. But yeah, I didn't think I'd get into EDF, and then I was into EDF because it's just, it, it's giant bugs, you're fighting giant bugs, and the way the camera moves, it made me feel, made me feel a way, and then I played the game, I'm like, hey, this is like playing PSO2, only it doesn't suck. Not that PSO2 super sucks, but man, PSO2 is just kind of a pain to play. There are monsters that take way too much damage. No real reason at all, and... It kind of feels like you're playing EDF, but in an MMO sense. And I can get through more in EDF, and... Um, anyway, EDF. Maybe they'll make a looter shooter, since it's kind of also a looter shooter. Uh, take care. And see y'all later. Bye-bye.